Hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. This is your fourth tutorial. This one is going to be about something called an if statement, and that is simply a way to determine what the value of a variable is while the program is running, or at runtime, which is the term for it. So all you have to do is you need some variable. I'm going to make a string x equal. Actually, I'm going to name it something more descriptive, because usually when you want to create variables, you want to know what they are. You don't have to go around looking through your program to figure out what they are. Because when we have a problem program like the ones we're making that are 30 lines long, you can do that, that's fine. But if you have a really long program and you have a variable called x, you have no idea what x is. It doesn't help you to know that it's x. But if it says input on it, then you mouse over and say it's a string. Oh, that's the string input I just got from them. Or that's the text input I just got from the user. It's very useful. So now if I just write input equals... Oh yeah, also another quick, you know, air quote secret is you can actually just write console.readline up here, and then it'll, it you don't have to write the string input equals and it'd be string, and then console.readline. You can just write console.readline up here. You can also write console.writeLine, like, what is your favorite fruit? And an exclamation point, like this, and now when you run this program, what is your favorite fruit? Oranges. And the program closes down because that's where it ends. Blah. And as always, we're going to have our console.readline at the end of the program. And then here is where the fun thing is going to happen. So to do an if statement, you have to write if, and then open parenthesis. And this is where the, well, it's called the condition. It's essentially what, what, what you want to know. For example, usually you want to know if something is equal to something else, or if something is something else. So if the input is the two equal signs, you don't do equals, you know, like uh, orange, because that's not, because that means you are assigning input to orange. But if you do equals equals orange, that means you're saying is input orange. And if it is orange, then it will say, yes, it is orange. And then it will run whatever is inside of these brackets that come after this line. And in here, you can just for something write something like console dot write line. Good choice. Or something. Now, you'll notice if I say, apples, it will not say anything back to me. But if I say orange, good choice. See? Because what it is, if you didn't get it before, it's if input is orange, then write good choice on the screen. It's not that difficult. And now I'm going to show you another quick um, thing that has to do with this. So instead of a string, we're going to do an integer this time. And now, oh yeah, also something else quick is if you want to do this, don't worry about what this means, but write convert dot two int 32, like just like this, convert dot two capital int 32 parenthesis console dot readline inside of here and parenthesis semicolon. This just means we're going to get input and it's going to be a number not a string, so we can put into input. And now, what we can do with input is we can do if input equals two, for example, which you could have done with a string, but, and I'm where it still says fruit. Okay, what is your favorite number? And then it, you can say like this, and then it won't say good choice, but if you write two, it will say good choice. But something else you can do with numbers is you can do if input is greater than 2, then say good choice. So if I write 2, it won't say anything to me because 2 is not greater than 2, but if I write 3, it will say good choice. Or if I write something like 10 blah blah blah. Okay, whoops. <laughs> yeah, don't write a number that big. Uh, <laughs> write a number like this, and it'll say good choice. I can also do if it's less than 2. So I write like negative 2,000, it'll say good choice. Or, and if I write 589, it won't say anything to me, because that's obviously not a good choice. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good, good too. Um, and that's really all there is for this tutorial, so thanks for watching. Sources in the description. See you next time.